Hi and welcome back to another video of JPlay. I am Marcus and today I'm doing a playthrough of the Castles of Burgundy. Yes, you remember correctly, I already did one playthrough really a long time ago. This is now the anniversary edition and it also comes with a nice solo mode. I have not tried it yet, so I'm really curious to see how it plays out. So yeah, let's see how things go, shall we? Okay, and that's the two-player or the one-player setup using the two-player rules to some extent. We are not using these special scoring tiles up here in the solo mode. You get a bonus when you complete the last color in your duchy, but you don't score the points for that. Apart from that, again, everything S is in a two-player game. We start with zero victory points. There is a little counter up here, which helps us later on getting some extra tiles out there on the board. But apart from that, we are not really caring about too much about victory points. Our only goal is to complete our duchy here. That's the A version of the solo game. There is a backside version which seems to be a little bit more tricky, but yeah, <laughs> as I've never played this game solo before, let's stick to the quote-unquote easy mode here. We get to choose where we want to place our starting castle. For whatever reason, I chose this one. At least I think I may be able to um, finish some of those regions quickly in order to score some points still. Again, points are valuable to us as we gain some some bonuses for that and yeah in the end again we want to complete our um, duchy here within 25 turns we start the game with one silver two workers and three random goods here um, we can have as many different good types as we want basically up to six that's definitely a deviation from the multiplayer version of the game where we can only store up to three different kind of goods. In this game, again, we can have up to six different kind of goods and they still stack. I mean, that's definitely not a difference. We have three storing spaces here for hex tiles later on. And yeah, I think that's about it for this special duchy. As for components, I'm using my own dice here. Some of you may have seen this on my Instagram account. I also shipped some of those to a lot of my loyal patrons already um, but I'm already in or I'm still in the process sending those out whenever you see my logo that's a one on the other side that's a six I was debating with myself for quite some time but everyone who knows how good or bad I'm rolling um, knows I think having my logo on the one definitely makes sense this will be pretty much the starting player die so this is where we then later on place the good tiles and again apart from that there are not really too many differences to the two player game but i will point those out as soon as they come up and i think with that being said let's get into the game um if you don't know the game i will explain some of the core mechanics to you as i go as usual and the first thing that you always do is or the start player does rolls all three dice and yeah let's see what happens uh, yeah, that's a one and a four. We have to place the first good style, which I have forgotten to reveal actually. So that's what we do. This is how you count your turns and your rounds actually. So the topmost tile now goes to location or depot number three. So we take this, what is it? I don't know, honey, I don't know. But it goes into depot number three. And in order to simulate a competing player, we will um, remove the topmost tile out of the game in this case. Really, really bad. Okay, what to do with those two dice? I guess the idea is to go with this tile here. So with a one, we can claim one tile, one hex tile here out of the depot with a number one. First of all, we have to place it into one of our storing spaces in our duchy here. And again, up to three, we can in theory discard, but that's really something that you shouldn't do. And to be honest, <laughs> I said it, we should really go with a four right off the bat. And this allows me now to use this die to place any one of my three tiles that are here on an adjacent, um, yeah, area where I already have something that basically goes with the same number here. So I can place this. I think it's a marketplace or no, I think it's a carpenter builder, something like that. So we place it here. We get the bonus right off the bat. And there's a handy dandy overview here. This one pretty much tells you we gain one extra building from anywhere out here on the board. Of course, we cannot use one of those blackish tiles here and put it into our storing hole in our 
duchy. So I think we either go for this. This allows me when I place it legally to gain a green or a blue tile. So you can look at those roofs and they sometimes tell you what the bonus is. The same is true for this one here. We have two silver roofs. Except when we, I think it's a bank. When we place it, we would immediately score two um, silver coins, which is never a bad thing. But as our goal is really to finish our duchy, I think getting extra tiles this could be the more beneficial one. So yeah, let's go for that. Again, that's still the bonus from the building we just built. But again, we have to park it here accordingly. That's not all. As we completed this region here, it's a small region. We will score one point, which you can see here. So that's a region only of size one or size two region already gives you three points. But because we did that during round A, we also get the 10 points here, so which in total is 11 points. And in case you wondered, yes, it's a pretty high scoring game. Typical Stefan Feld point salad. You can really score a hell of a lot of points during pretty much all kinds of things. But that's already the first turn of the first round. So let's roll those dice again. Okay, that's a six and a one and a six. Hmm, one and a six is kind of problematic. We can use workers to influence those dice and you can even warp around. It's basically making one out of a six, for example, or the other way around. But hmm, in this case, they're very nearby. But let's see about that. First of all, we have to place the next good tile here, some grapes. And in this case, we will remove the topmost tile from this. Again, pretty much simulating a second player choosing some of those tiles. Otherwise, it would really feel very, very easy. And wow, I think I think ah, there's actually not a reason not going for this one here. And we could in theory also play this legally. But I also want to have this monastery tile down here because it gives you extra works at the end of each round or turn, but each round if you happen to have a mine. So that could be really, really huge at some point in time. But I, hmm, I mean, I do have the die. So in theory, I could influence this die down to a five. So this would give me this one. Um, but then making the placing this ah, that's too expensive in respect to to my dice so in this case i really might rather consider spending yeah let's spend the six here and again we have to park it here first so we have used the six then we might be able to use the one uh, to place this here on the meadow i believe right in order to do that we need to transform this into a one which is oh, into a six sorry we have to spend this worker here again those warp around so this is now legally a six we can place it here first thing that happens we will score because it's meadow each animal on that on that tile here. in this case that's three points we have again completed one region here which is another point so that's four point and because we are doing this in round one or round a in this case that's 10 more points in total so if i made the math correctly that's 14 points which is definitely not shabby moving up to 25 points again if we reach the 50 points that you can see here we get a bonus and this one goes down and then it's getting easier and easier getting that bonus so overall i think if that's definitely okay but that's already again the end of our turn so let's roll those dice again okay that's a one a six and a three at least we have some choices now yeah i think that's okay but first of all we have to deal with this die which means this jewelry goes here this also means we have to get rid of this boat or harbor i think it's a boat or a ship cannot quite remember so this is now out uh, anyway if we have to place something here we go to the next so it's unfortunate that the other player doesn't take something it simply goes to the next depot in this case okay what are we going to do with a three and a six problem is six is out so there is nothing to gain here and we don't have any resources or whatnot the three could be nice, but we already have a building waiting for us. So parking now another building, I don't know if that's a necessarily good idea. So it's either again, we are going to transform the, I think we could do that, right? I mean, we could spend one worker to gain this ship here. The problem is when you gain a ship, you get the goods of one of those resources, all good. So that's 
not necessarily a bad thing, obviously. The problem is we only have one goods in each of those. So that really feels kind of a waste going for a ship now. So again, I might want to consider going for this. And yeah, I think we can even legally place that. Maybe that's what we should do. Okay, so we will spend the six. We will spend the worker to transform this into five. So we are okay taking this monastery which helps us in a multitude of ways. I think, yeah, we can place it right away. Place it here. We are not scoring any points for that right now for the tile itself. But again, we have completed a region. So that's one point region plus its turn around uh, still round A. That's another 11 points, not too shabby. So we are moving closer, but that's the idea really starting in the topmost corner of my duchy. In theory, I could have started here and maybe gained, I have had some more possibilities placing tiles here, but then it would have taken me much, much longer um, sealing off those terrains. And then I would obviously score less points because this value goes down significantly down to only two points um, at the, towards the end of the game. But I guess again, that's the end of the turn. Let's roll those die again. Oh, a two and a two. That's usually, that's not ideal, but okay. We have to start with this, which means this goes here. This is now good. So now we have a depot that consists or has two goods in it. So whenever we take a ship now, we might really get some actual goods out of this. The problem is um, we should have to take one out. We cannot take one out here. So again, we are following clockwise. So this tile is out, but that's okay because that's a tile that scores you immediately when you place it four points for each of those buildings that you have built. Normally that's something you would do at the end of the game but in solo you have to score them right away because that's the only time when victory points do something for you doing the game not at the end of the game so in this case i guess that's okay i can live with that but now i have to think about what to do with my two twos here and actually there's another castle i just spotted that um ideally i still get this mine because then my monastery also kicks in and we get some extra coins for that. So this could all help me. But right now getting this could help me. I think this is what we should do. Yeah, absolutely. So with the first two, we will grab this castle. And as usual, we have to park it here. But we have the second two, so we can place it. And that goes in here. So we have our second castle in here. So that's great. First of all, we will score all the points. That's another 11 points. So that's definitely a good thing. But what the castle allows us to do is pretty much can assume we have yet another die with any value. So basically one, two, a six and can take that action accordingly. So I think that's definitely beneficial. Yeah, I think that's cool. But first of all, let's score the 11 points. So that's 47, at least that's, I think, how it's done. And then we can pretty much take any die value, uh, basically. We can say we have a third die, whatever, with a five. And I think that's what we are going to do because I really want that mine here. So yeah, let's take this mine. And again, we have to place it here. But those were our two actions, this case even three, because we have taken the castle. I think this worked out pretty well. Then we are moving already into the last turn of this round. So let's see. And that's a one, six and a three. I think we should be good with that. I think that's okay. Let's start with this. So the grapes go in here. That's really nice. That's really, really nice. And yeah, we also have to remove this. We cannot remove, then we would look in here. There's nothing to remove, which means we have to go in here. So this tile is out, but that's okay. I mean, it would, would have given us two silver coins. Again, another bad thing, which pretty much two victory points. We can spend any time, but I think we might have different things to do. Okay, then it's over to us. We have these two dice and I think we have to, yeah. We will give away this die here and exchange it for two workers. That's an action that you can do for any one die. You can gain two workers, which is definitely important for our next move because we still want to place this mine here and we can do that with a five. So we will have to spend a worker in order to transform this into a five and we'll place it here. Amazing. Right now the mine doesn't do give us anything right off the bat, but we will get something out of it towards the end of this round, which is pretty imminent now. We still have completed this, so we will score 
11 more points. We have surpassed this. So this goes down to 45. And our bonus, we can do a dice action. So similar to if we would have placed a cast like we did before. First of all, this goes back to zero, unfortunately. So we have to start all over again. But again, we have a die now at our disposal. And I'm tempted to go with a four which allows us to get a boat and when we place that boat later on we could also gain some goods and i think that's right now our best bet right yeah let's go for it so we will consider this to be a four so we will take this boat ship and again we have to park it here accordingly that's the end of the turn that's the end of the round because we have one mine we get one point oh one silver for that that's again a good thing and because we have this monastery here and on top of this um, coin we also get a worker for that and that was one of the main reasons why i wanted this combination here during the first turn so this could basically will give me um five workers towards the end of the game which is definitely a get very very good thing so i was really fortunate that this monastery tile came out here apart from that we are removing all of the buildings obviously there aren't any buildings left the goods tile will stay where they are and then we are in theory directly moving into round two which means we are repopulating this one here again just to keep track of things some clothes and by the way this is really a nice improvement um, in this uh, anniversary edition here um, i really like the artwork on those tiles here much better overall i i know there are some complaints about this version of the game i really like it i personally think it's really an improvement of some of those tiles some of those are really much clearer i do also understand where the others are coming from i mean castle of burgundy is really a classic and it's really around for some time and very very popular and then you're basically starting something new personally i may have really favored if they really went for some more premium materials here i don't know some of those tokens could be nice or maybe metal coins something like that this would really be a very cool um anniversary edition of course price would have gone up but i would have been fine but I'm not complaining. I got more or less all of the expansion. That was my main driver getting this anniversary edition. And I really think it's, it's fine as it is. I really enjoy playing this game this way. Okay, then we have to restock the market. And in fact, I did forget. Yes, we had some black tiles here. Usually you get those black tiles when you spend silver coins. We You need two silver coins in order to do that. And you can do that anytime during your turn. So on top of a die. But up to now, we didn't have any tiles. So we will now replenish the board here accordingly. Okay, and that's the offer. And then we are rolling our dice. So let's see about that. And oops, they're stuck. That's the first time this happened in this dice tower. Okay, again, we will have to deal with that. That was a four first here, which means this jewelry goes in here and the leftmost tile goes away. If I recall that correctly, I think, yeah, and these is always left to right. So we are not doing this clockwise order really in this space is left to right and top to bottom. And yeah, then we have a six and a four. Huh, I think we should start placing our, ah, the four would have been nice actually getting this extra harbor tile because we need the ship tiles in order to expand. So in order to go over here, we have to first build this. This is okay, we have that, but then we need whatever this or that. So basically from here to here, we could build the next ship and then from there we could expand over the right now. We are pretty limited. That's one of the basic downsides starting in a small terrain up here at some point in time, you really are forced to do certain stuff which is something that you usually try to avoid because you are, after all, a little bit uh, luck dependent. And again, you know how well I'm rolling. And actually here I noticed this is a tile that's an expansion. I think I will not play with the extension. I made sure that I removed the monastery tiles out of there because I don't know if this makes the game easier or more difficult. So I think let's remove it for now. So sorry for that. Let's replace it with the same one, sorry. <laughs> and I think that's a legal one. Yeah, this allows me to place one tile from my um, storage to my 
Duchy. I think that's a legal one, if I recall that correctly. Yeah, it is the same thing. That's fine. Okay, but still, I have now a four. Do I really want this building? Um, I mean, again, placing tiles is never a bad thing. The problem is I still have a building out there. So I'm not sure if I will be able to do that or not. So first of all, I really have to start. I have to start placing ships now, I guess. So I guess I uh, have to spend another worker here. So we will exchange this with the worker down to a one. This allows me to place my ship. I think that's really important. Again, first of all, I have completed this terrain here. And so we will score now less points, right? It's only nine points now because we are in um, round B now. And on top of this, we can score or trigger the special ability of the ship, which again allows me to take pretty much one of those um, depots out there. Obviously, I want to go with a depot that has two. Unfortunately, that's not the right spread. That's kind of a bummer, but I still want to do it. I think it doesn't really matter, actually. So I think here's one more out. Maybe that's this is also out. Oof. Yeah, let's go with this. I don't know. So we will grab this depot. All the, uh, no, all the others are now removed from the game. So that's really a bummer. So again, I can have up to six different kind of goods in my warehouse. That's okay. There's no longer a limitation. And now and only now I can spend five whatever reason, uh, resources or goods to take any one of those black resources and place it into my duchy or basically into the storage. The thing is, I have to place it face down, which means I can place it anywhere on my duchy later on, but it also will not score me any benefits whatsoever. Though that's only good filling up my spaces. And oof, I think I'm really already running out of time actually, but I also want to hold on to my resources because we can sell them later on, actually. So maybe I will want to wait right now. Again, we will score the nine points. Let's definitely not forget that. Or oh, should I do this? Oh, come on. Should I do this? I still have a die, right? I think I still have the four. But with a four, I will never make it to the other other ship up here. So maybe I do want to spend the five resources now because ah, it's, that still doesn't help me. Because again, the black tile goes first here and then I can place it out. Maybe I could then use the four to place it here and continue here. But actually, I really would prefer moving now here or there actually, because yeah, here are some nice city tiles actually, but Mm. Here I have more freedom to do stuff. So here we have at least two of those and getting another mine could be beneficial too. Oh boy, that's bad. But should I really go for another? Should I spend my, I think we need tiles. No, I will spend, really remove them. So I, they do not do not count as sold. So they're really removed from the game. And this gives me one black tile and I guess, mm, yeah. I will go for this. We will put it on the other way, other side around, placing it here so we can place it right next. And now we could still choose what to do with the four. Again, we could place it right away and this would open up some stuff, but I don't know. I don't know. I still have a worker, so I could transform it into a five and maybe go for a second mine. Actually, that's another worker at the end of this round. Maybe I think that's the better deal. Yeah, we will do that. So we will transform this into a five with our last remaining worker. And therefore we will go with this mine here because we should be able to place it soon. At least I hope. But this also means we are fully loaded down here. So we again, we can place something here, but then we have to toss something else away. And again, that's something that you try to avoid in this game. Let's move to the next turn. Let's hope for a good row. That's a five, a six and a two. I think the six is, I think the six is good. Let's see about the five here. So uh, those grapes go into depot five, which means this monastery goes out of here. And then we have a six and a two. Let's use the six yeah, to place this one here again. We are allowed to do that. Um, we have also completed this space. That's another nine points here. So moving up to 18. You see these two points that are missing from turn to turn, from round to round are really huge. I would have been four points further already. But again, not complaining here. We still have a 
two and i'm really tempted to get this monastery tally because i believe this one allows you instead of a one um of your die when using a worker you can do that up to two plus or minus i mean that's huge the problem is i have no clue when i would be able to place this so maybe if i would have placed it here maybe i should reconsider it. i mean i could still but no i was out of workers right this was a six yeah but i could have taken uh, maybe let me think about this for a second so instead of placing it here i could have placed it here by spending a worker yeah we don't have a worker but we have a second die so in theory i could have used that second die to change that here that's also not bad because then having this tile there could really make our lives much much easier because there's really not a lot we can do with this two now other than taking a worker um because it takes so long placing something here actually so we will not place any of those monastery tiles for quite some time now so i think okay apologies so let me allow to backtrack so i have used this die here first in order to gain two workers so that's this die here instead of placing the six here i would have used one die to change this into a one in order to place it down here again scoring everything else is the same thing but I believe that's the thing. Right now, I'm not allowed to use this tile because I'm out of dice. And that's definitely a bad thing. So in theory, this could go away now with the next die roll of the blue die. But yeah, let's see about that. So apologies for that. But again, it's the first time I'm playing this solo game. So let's move into the next turn. That's a three, awfully close. Then we have a four and a five. So this ring goes in here. Those picks are out that's kind of a bummer but i have to live with that and then we have a four and a five and we have one worker left i mean that's definitely not too bad and yeah this was definitely not ideal mm, i think i will spend my last remaining worker to change this into a six which allows me to place this again i don't know i think this is the market doesn't really matter so we place it here again we have not completed now this terrain this consists of two now so we're not scoring any points for that um, but we still are allowed to take a green a light green i think it's light green or a blue tile from anywhere out on the board uh, but this always excludes the uh, black market by the way and i think i really need another ship we have to extend into other terrains soon so i think yeah and getting extra tiles is never a bad thing so we'll grab this ship and place it here accordingly and in theory i could immediately place it here actually because we still have the four but i'm not sure if i would like to do that in theory i really want to place this sucker here as soon as possible problem is i don't have any workers and with the four i still could gain this building could be also not the worst thing in the world because if we would have placed this we could yeah i think that's good i think that's good no we will spend the four to grab this building here because again when placing this i can place another tile from my key storage area somewhere on the board which is definitely good again we want to complete our duchy that's the ultimate goal so yeah let's go for this that's was oops 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 that was our four but again we have to store it here first next turn okay that's two a five and a one and yeah it had to happen so this tile is out of here okay whatever cannot change a thing and this is really kind of a bummer you really want depots where you have more than just one tile in there obviously but yeah it is what it is and again we have a five and a one i guess the five is a good thing because we can place our mine here so we will get one more silver and we will also gain one more worker at the end of this round, which again will happen relatively soon. We have completed the section here. This gives us an additional nine points. You see, things are really slowing down points wise, but the good thing is we all also have moved down here on this track too. So we basically, yeah, I think we are still close enough. We still have the one. With the one, there is a nice building. I think that's the watchtower or so. This gives us four immediate points when we place it. So I think that's not too terrible, but it's also not mission critical. So I think I will use this one here. This may sound a little bit lame to gain an additional two workers for our last turn of this round. Yeah, I think that's what it is. So let's see, that's the last turn. Again, that's a four. 
and a four doesn't really help me so here's nothing to remove here is nothing to remove we will go with this again not clockwise top to bottom so this i think again it's a bank and i just noticed i believe i forgot to remove this castle tile here so let's see about that on top of this i'm also not sure now if i would have been legally allowed to place this tile here because following this river now looking at it it could really mean that i could only have played here or here actually because again there must be a reason why these tiles are there the problem is i think i cannot take it back now the rules are unfortunately not really clear about this because they really only say you can only expand to other regions via the rivers whatever this means i mean most likely i'm not going to win anyway so maybe it's not really cheating but at least you should know that there is might be something that i'm playing incorrectly which is not so uncommon but yeah just wanted to let you know that's how i think maybe it's okay maybe not but i will sort of fix this now so i think let's place this one here it used to two to complete this town here again this one allows me to place one of my store tiles here anywhere here out on the board so i think in this case let's place this one here so it's now kind of legal but obviously i will also now score this region this is now a two space region which gives me three base points oops that was the three and we will also still gain the eight points because we are still in round eight so that's 11 points not too shabby that's 38 and as we have also placed a ship i also get one of those things so now i have to check what have already been removed out of the game so i think hmm i might go for a brown one because there could be still some more brown good tokens out there i don't know so i will take this all of the others are removed as usual i could now exchange five of my good tokens which i don't have for another blackish tile you remembered but we can still score this space here that's another what was it nine points now which is definitely great so we are moving here again we have surpassed this this goes down to 40 now this goes back to zero and again we can use one die and the cool thing is we still have that six here so let's not forget that one either what am i going to do with my wild card i mean there's still this watchtower here which could score me four points i mean four points is also not terrible we could uh, go for another meadow which i cannot place and this one here is the warehouse which allows me to sell one kind of good just like i would use the die which i haven't done yet so you can also spend a die to to sell your goods but only one type of a good because they all have those digit on it so with a five i could basically sell all of my brown die. usually i get one coin for that that's not a bad thing and i think in a two player game i scored two points for each tile i believe this is different in respect to how many players are playing i think for two player it's simply two points so it's also not really great so here i might be actually better off hmm, going with the watchtower which would score me four points and again we are filling more spaces which is not bad hmm, this meadow might take some time to build it actually and we can still spend some coins to go for a black market tile here so that's also very very tempting but i think with the freebie i will go with this one here so we'll grab the watchtower so that was my bonus because i have reached 45 victory points again and now i can still use my six and i believe i want to place it here right because this could again give me some more points here so i will use this i will spend a worker to transform this into my logo how nice is that this allows me to place the watchtower so i will score four points plus nine points i'm sealing off or completing this region that's 13 more points not bad and yeah keep in mind this time we only need to read 40 points in total so that's definitely something and that's the end of the round actually yeah it is so again all of those will go away yeah that's all i could have still spent a gold coin or a silver coin but yeah that's okay let's not worry about that right now and of course we will score our mines that's two more 
silver coin, so one per mine. And of course, we are also triggering this monastery up there, which is another two workers. I mean, that's really something. That's pretty cool. Really happy that I have yeah, chosen or have gotten this. Was also a little bit lucky, obviously. But then again, that's the end of the second round. And I guess I will end my playthrough for today. Again, I really do apologize if I have somehow messed up this rivery kind of thing. I believe on the backside it's a little bit more open anyway of this tile, but it is what it is right now. I couldn't really couldn't take it back because so many dice have been rolled and whatnot. So yeah, hope you are fine with that. And yeah, really hope to see you soon in one of my other videos. Again, a huge shout out to all of my patrons out there. Really, really appreciate your support. So if you want to support my show, check out my page on Patreon. Yes, you will find a link in the description of this video. Like and subscribe. And as I said, hope to see you soon. And until then, bye bye.